Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Unboxing a magic trackpad today. I've also got a magic keyboard. These are the two newest keyboard and trackpad things you can buy. The reason I'm interested in the magic trackpad is that it now uses force touch. You can actually um, push harder on the uh, on the surface and actually get extra function. Like you can push a little bit harder and it will like give you a translation or a definition of a word, which is quite a cool feature. I've been using the original magic trackpad, uh, which I bought many years ago and it has served me incredibly well. This is a fantastic, fantastic trackpad. Also has the benefit of removable batteries. You can put any batteries in here that you like. The new version is rechargeable which means that when the rechargeable battery dies it's dead. This one could probably go uh, forever in theory because look at this. This is the state of my uh, old magic trackpad. These little rubber feet kind of fall off over time. Um, I mean, only this one's really fallen off, so I've had to put <laughs> duct tape or this, this uh, electrical tape on it just to keep it in place. Otherwise, if it falls off, it doesn't register clicks. So this is the thing with the old trackpad. It used to work on a springboard mechanism where the whole thing, you would click it and the whole thing would move down a little bit like this. That's why there's two points to register the click. On the new version, it actually registers in four different places on the, tra on, on the trackpad. Magic trackpad. It's magic. Made by Apple. Gonna get it out of the box now and actually at the end of this video I'm also going to do a little test just so I can um, compare a normal laptop trackpad to this force trackpad. Click and drag. I really want um why can't I open this? This is unusual for an Apple product. I don't usually have to get a knife out in order to open the box, but this one is really, really stubborn. On the original version, because it would only springboard here, you couldn't click at the top and drag windows around. You would have to use your thumb. Why Why bother making the whole surface touch sensitive? Whoa, okay, so this is the... This is the product comes like this. Interestingly enough is that the product is now no longer a silver on the top, it is now white on the top. You also get an instruction manual and a lightning cable, which is nice because you can use the lightning cable for other stuff as well. We can never have too many lightning cables. Let's get it out of the plastic magic trackpad. It's so expensive as well, this. Whoa, nice. Apple logo on the back of the product. Obviously it's got these little feet, but that's not where the clicking happens. The actual clicking happens uh, on the top surface. It does actually slightly move down a little bit, but it doesn't click and you won't feel the click until you actually put it into your computer. Slick looking device. Look how nice it is. Though I do kind of miss having the silver on the top. I think the white on the top doesn't look quite as good. I understand why they did it so that it matches the keyboard, but I would have preferred to have the silver surface on top. Not 100% sure what this stripe here is for, but this is where you plug in the lightning cable to uh, recharge the battery, and then you've got your on-off switch as well. It's a little bit difficult to see, but if you see, if I push here, you can see that it does move down, so it's not like it's completely unmoving. For size comparison, actually, interestingly enough, it's wider than the original trackpad if you have a look here, and also I think it will sit much lower on the table because it doesn't have the, uh, the battery compartment in it as well. Look at that, that's perfect for the hand. They've really thought about how big hands actually are for these uh, five finger gestures and I think that's why they've decided to make it this kind of size and also a little bit wider as well. I really want to see whether click and drag works as well as I think it's going to work because I think for a workflow it would be much nicer than having to hold my thumb down. Like my hand gets a little tense when I'm holding my thumb down and moving around my finger like this. It would be much nicer to be able to just click at the top of the bar here and you know be able to move it around like this and then let go. So let's hook it up to the computer. Alright I've got the Magic Trackpad 2 set up here, I think that's what it's called. What I'd like to try is t um, tapping and clicking anywhere on the trackpad. So we'll click. Oh, very nice. And then I can drag around without having to use my thumb at all. What's really nice is I can use the whole surface of the trackpad to move this window anywhere I want without ever using my thumb. I mean, obviously using my thumb also works just like it used to, but you can see that your finger ends up doing all sorts of weird gymnastics. You can click very, very gently and you can drag just like you would. I mean, it's just so much closer to the iOS experience, which is really, really important for Apple. All the normal scroll features uh, work just like they used to. You can still zoom in and out like you used to be able to. If I try and push, oh, so I've pushed a little bit harder and wow, it's uh, actually shown me an extra link to that uh, because that's not just a word, it's a link. It actually shows you what would happen if you clicked on the link. So it's kind of like a preview. That's very, very cool. Wasn't even expecting that. All right, let's check out a website and let's try just a normal word. How about a uh, door? Let's see if I can force click on here. Oh, shows suggestions from iTunes. What? Okay, continue. Force click on the word. Very, very cool. I love that. I'm gonna try it. How about greatness? 
Oh, very, wow, and it also opens up the Japanese English dictionary. That's wonderful. So you can actually translate from Japanese to English. Um, it's not just a normal dictionary. It's actually translating as well. How about this one? I don't know what this word is. So let's force click. Very, very cool. So it actually shows me the Japanese word translated into English with a little bit of explanation. That is a fantastic. See, this is what operating systems should do. This is such a fantastic feature. Very satisfied. This is definitely the best device, um, the best trackpad ever that um, um, Apple has made by comparison to the uh, Magic Mouse 2, which we don't talk about. Anyway, that's all for now. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game. Final Fantasy 15. Ah! Someone pick up the phone. How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time. So I let her go in front of me and she ran into the shop and she took the only copy of this. And I thought, no. Here it comes. Oh! It's like the anime, but better. It doesn't say what this is. It just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee.